it's April 16th, 2013, and you're watching Tell All Tuesday for the Quest Away Less. As you saw last week, I didn't make a Tell All Tuesday. Well, I did. I just didn't upload it, and I deleted it and got rid of it because I just really didn't feel like editing that much last week. I was letting myself, I imagine, play victim to people not being interested in my channel and blah blah blah. Sob story that my ego keeps telling me so that I hold myself back. I'm back and it's good to be back and I want to thank everyone for your continued support, your continued love, and your continued encouragement. I just feel absolutely amazing. I feel absolutely grateful. I let myself feel what I was feeling and I got past it by dealing with it. And I gave myself some me time, which was amazing because I missed it. I watched a lot of Netflix. I stayed up really into the early hours of the mornings. So I could watch quite a few just on my own while everybody else was sleeping. And I really didn't watch any YouTube videos very much. I watched a couple here and there. I'd go on Facebook. The only people I would really chat with on there um, for any length of time would be my best friend Lynette and um, Rocky, who continually supported me uh, throughout there. We messaged each other back and forth in comments, um, which I really appreciate. Rocky Berrigan here on YouTube. She's got a great channel. You guys should definitely go check her out. I love her videos. She does like recipe videos, follow follow me videos, weigh-in videos. She is uh, doing Weight Watchers and like she lost a lot of weight. It's She's absolutely inspiring and I love her channel. <laughs> I'm just so happy that the universe kind of threw us in this together and now we've become good friends and I really appreciate her for that. I will put some pictures up of what I ate last week. It's quite embarrassing if I must say so myself and um, in the last week I should say and then the week before that I didn't get very many pictures. I just kind of stopped caring. Sardines, beets, pickles, carrots, pure lens, quite a few, popcorn, green juice, and Thai coconut water, a veggie burger, a salad, and some pickles, a goji's frozen yogurt, mint chocolate, a fruit roll-up, huge one, not a fake one, real one, uh, melted cheese and rice crackers, um, green juice and tayong coconut water, mashed sweet potato, pickles, beets, and a salad, more pure lins, two Weight Watchers coffee cakes, a tayong coconut, the water from it, Chinese food buffet food, um, bubblegum ice cream, French fries from McDonald's and a smoothie, dipped strawberry banana, a piece of a burger from Burger King, and some sweet potato fries which aren't there in the photo, a Taiyong coconut water, a smoothie, a salad, a bunch of caramel eggs, um, Cadbury eggs, a lot more than are in the picture. Um, a bagel with strawberry cream cheese, two pieces of pepperoni pizza with some veggies on it, cereal with one or er, skimmed milk, and a Burger King meal with sweet potato fries and a chicken sandwich, dates, and Weight Watchers golden cakes. The dates, the cakes, and this package of processed turkey without nitrates. I was all part of my binge, Amy's rice noodles with not cheese, red cherry frozen yogurt, and the next week an egg salad sandwich and some carrots and potatoes mashed, mango sorbet, sherbet I mean, mango, two and a half mangoes and the water of a Taiyan coconut, booster juice smoothie and a pesto chicken uh, flatbread, some popcorn, water and green juice. A veggie burger with cheese and jalapenos and some other veggies on it with some coleslaw, iced tea, uh, lemon water, and then I had some fiber water. Prepping the smoothie I had yesterday, then some zucchini pasta, some sardines with some marinara sauce, the balanced protein peanut butter blast ball, the stuff I made my green juice with, all the greens and the cucumber and ginger, and there's my green juice and the coconut. I was going out to eat fast food 
and like almost every day it was crap. I eat like meat. I kind of gave up on my whole not eating meat thing, which is fine because I believe the reason why I was eating meat from fast food, not necessarily that I needed it from fast food, but that my body was asking me for meat again. And I was, I kind of feel like I was lying to myself and I was depriving myself. And so I decided I'd tweak things a little bit and I've decided that I feel compelled to take bread out of my diet at this time. Um, I'm taking processed and packaged foods out of my diet for the most part, and dairy. Dairy, I've decided that it'll be very occasional if I do have some dairy. It might be maybe some butter. If I'm making some sweet potato or potatoes, I might put butter in there. However, I'm not gonna do yogurt, I'm not gonna do cheese, and I'm not going to do milk. Because I find something has been making me have an allergic response almost every day for the last few weeks. Not every single day, but I'll just go in a, into a sneezing attack and it'll usually be, from what I've noticed, after a night that I've heavily eaten or that I've eaten a lot of dairy in my diet. And so I really want to see, I want to experiment with this. So I'll be eating um, meat, fruits, vegetables, occasional nuts and seeds. I'm not a big nut fan. I don't do nut milks. I'm just, ugh. And I've never been like a big cereal fan either, so it's not like... I'm missing out if I don't drink milk. Another thing is, like, if I am going to use any sort of milk, I would use coconut milk in my smoothie, because I like, in my smoothies or something, because I like coconut milk. Coconut milk is awesome, and I love coconut water. I've got a Thai young coconut right here, and uh, I'll be sipping on that here very soon. I'm just going through my fiber water first. Uh, before that, I had some lemon water. Um, that's my, like, not as soon as I wake up. I don't, I don't know. I don't usually eat or do anything much except get on the computer, like, when I first wake up. I sort of have, like, my, I, I have my water. Like, normally I would just have normal water, but now that I'm doing the lemon water, I just kind of, like, wait it out, continue my body's fasting process. And I know a lot of people say that's not good for you to wait to eat. However, I'm not, like, that hungry. Now I'm getting pretty hungry, and it's been a few hours since I've been awake, so um, I'm going to finish up my fiber water, then for my first meal I'm going to have the water of a Thai young coconut, as you just saw, and I'm going to have a liter of green juice. The green juice has cucumber, it has organic and local field greens, organic and local spinach, organic and local um, pea shoots, organic and local arugula, organic and local parsley was the other um, green that I had in there, and a few inches of ginger. Ended up, in the end, adding two green apples to the mix. Um, not usually one that puts fruit in my green juices, however, I did have a green juice a few weeks ago with some green apple in it, and I quite enjoyed it, and it didn't cause me any digestive upset. So I'm not one to stick to any dogma just because. I will try things out again and see how they fare for me, and it went pretty well. And then after that, for my lunch, since I'm on a weird schedule sleeping-wise, because it's the evening now, um, and I didn't wake up until the late afternoon. I'll be having cauliflower and chicken soup with some veggies on the side, maybe some cucumber, um, not quite sure yet what I'm going to have, maybe some spinach or whatever. We'll see when the time comes. <clears throat> and then I made some raw marinara sauce last night, and I had that for supper, zucchini pasta with, oh my god, it was, like, I do everything when I, well, not everything, I can't say that, but a lot of the time when I make my recipes, I do them by intuition, and I did this one by intuition. Like, I know what I normally put in there, but I don't always put the same quantities, so sometimes that's why it's hard for me to make recipe videos, and people ask for them a lot. It's delish, and I'm so happy that it makes, like, I don't know, maybe five, four to six servings of sauce for one to two zucchini. Last night I used two. I didn't end up eating all of the... The, the noodles and sauce. Um, I also had some lime sardines, so, and yes, those are packaged. I guess, you know, like, I'm okay with those ones because the, the package is BPA-free, it's in the organic section, there's nothing really bad in the ingredients. When I say processed and packaged foods, I'm talking about processed and packaged foods that you cannot pronounce half the things that are in the ingredient list, and they're just like some really bad ingredients or things that give me 
issues, like especially with like fast food. I find that that tweaks with my emotions and then I feel guilty for eating it and then I start feeling even worse. So it's like a cycle. I keep eating more and more of it. So fast food is like my halter. I really need to like stop right there. And so that's what I did. I have a huge zucchini. I'm going to spiralize it with my spiralizer, which turns it into long strands that makes it look like pasta, which is really cool. So, and then I'll put some marinara sauce over it and that'll be my supper. So, or my third meal, I should say. So I'm pretty excited that I'm feeling... I'm feeling this. When I'm feeling something, there's no resistance. When I'm not truly feeling it in my heart, there's resistance. And I'll want to do something else, or I'll want to quit, or I'll want to... So, you know, the thing is, is that I need to listen to myself. And right now, I just feel like, emotionally, I was turning into a wreck. Physically, I was still in pain, and emotionally, I just couldn't be that way anymore. And so, I'm feeling pretty good. And did really good yesterday. I had the water. I had three liters of water, um, lemon water, fiber water, the Benefiber that I've been taking. I think I mentioned it a little bit in last week's um, update. I was suggested by my doctor to start taking Benefiber due to the constipation. And at first it was like working really well and then I started eating out, eating all that crap. And um, then all of a sudden I got backed up again and then I would go, and it would be hard, um, and then now, since I've started eating healthier again, for me, health, since I've been eating healthier for me again, um, I've realized that I'm getting diarrhea now, for today. Yesterday, it was, I was like constipated, and whatever came out was hard, so obviously there's stuff that was in there that is either getting liquefied, because I ate I drank a lot of liquids today, um, and some yesterday, so I don't know, maybe that's what it is. Anytime there's a change in my diet, I normally see a change in my bowels, so maybe this will just take a little bit of time for my bowels to get used to. I'm taking two tablespoons of the Benefiber in, in uh, 500 milliliters of water um, under my doctor's orders, so I imagine that maybe it's diarrhea because of the change and all the liquids or maybe it's because I'm taking too much. So I'm gonna see how things go over the next couple days because at day 10, today's day eight, since I've been taking it, at day 10 my doctor said to start taking stool softener. And well, day 10 is in tomorrow's day nine and then day 10 is after that. And then on day 11, I'll continue to take the fiber supplement. However, in the morning I'll be taking a laxative and then in the evening I'll take a laxative. Uh, the stool softener. It's a gentle, natural softener. And so, you know, I'm thinking that if it's still in the shape of diarrhea, um, I'm going to have to do some research or call the doctor or the pharmacist because, I mean, why would you want a stool softener if you're having diarrhea? Right? We'll see. See how things go. Maybe it'll bind it better. I don't know how that works. It just doesn't make sense to me that you would do a stool softener if you're having diarrhea. So, um, if that's the case, in the next, like tomorrow, if it's still diarrhea, on day 10, I will lower it to one tablespoon a day and then see how day 10, I fare on day 10, and then on day 11 when I wake up, see how it is. And if it's all good, then I'll start with the stool softener and uh, we'll go from there. I had a smoothie. You'll have seen the picture of the smoothie I had yesterday. It was pretty good. I liked it. And uh, I put some vitamin mineral green in it from Health Force Nutritionals just to add some extra nutrition in there and some stabilization. As you know, I have hypoglycemia issues, so it helps stabilize my sugars, and I was fine drinking that smoothie. Um, and then I wasn't that hungry after having that liter of smoothie. And then quite a few hours later, I had the zucchini pasta, two zucchini, um, almost two zucchini, I should say, and some marinara sauce. And on the side I had the sardines. And then I ended up having, later on as a snack, um, what do you call it? The peanut butter blast balls that I have. And I have a picture of that too that I showed. That has whey in it, so yeah, it's, it's dairy. Um, 
However, you know, like, I did pretty good. I'm not trying to justify anything. I don't have any dogma that I'm setting up against. Those have never given me any issues physically. Um, and I love them. And I was hungry and I wanted a little snack before bed and I felt good. Exercise-wise, nada. Still none. I'm just not feeling exercise right now. Trust me, you'll know it when I am because I'll go either for a week or a week or two or a few weeks or a few months at times. Like one time I remember working out five days a week for six months straight and that was really good. I'm just not always active. I'm not that person. I've never ever been the extremely active type. Well, that's not true. When I was young I was really active. Um, and then I just started having people coming into my life that were very inactive and so I got used to being inactive and I don't know, maybe, you know, the health issues that I'm facing, maybe that has something to do with my energy levels, you know, and not not going outside as much as I should and not working out as much as I should, but who says I should, you know, right? So if I'm not going to shit on myself, I'm not going to let anybody else shit on me. Um, yeah, and I've mentioned that in my ramp video and stuff, yes, or not yesterday, but last week on Wednesday. I'm just not going to be told what to do. It's, it's as simple as that. My body is my temple and it tells me what I need to do and that doesn't mean that it tells me to go eat fast food I allow myself to do that so I know what I'm doing I'm not a stupid person I understand a lot about nutrition and what works for me um, you know I've heard of different diets I know about different diets I know about different things it's cool when people tell me about stuff that they're doing and if it feels like oh that could work you know maybe I'll give that a shot that's cool but if, as soon as you're saying you've got to do this or you got to try this or try this it's not gonna happen with regard to fitness with regard to health with regard to food so if you want to approach me and have me trying some of your things please suggest through your experience however don't say that yes this works 100 percent you're gonna it's gonna work for you the same way it worked for me because if that were the case then why aren't we all the same why aren't why do our bodies do things that are different from other people's bodies right with regards to water in the last couple days i've been getting my water in uh before that uh it was a little scattered wasn't really getting all my water in i was adding more things in last week like green juice Thai young coconuts were in there, more fruit, more um, salads. So it was cool, but at the same time, I was also adding in a lot of junk food. Um, just I was trying to suppress a lot of what I was going through. For food, that's what I'm going to be doing, you know, for I don't know how long. It's my preliminary cleansing period, still a transitionary period. I intend to go fully raw in time. Um, this is kind of just me doing a preliminary thing until it's time to go and get those tests done. Once I get the test results back, then that's when I'll most likely end up going completely raw or maybe a little bit before that. I just want to know that I'm not harming myself. Right now it's good. It doesn't feel like I'm harming myself. It doesn't feel like I'm deprived. Um, however, yeah, my body just seemed to want meat. And so if I have like burgers and stuff like that, it's going to be without buns, but that's not going to be the focus of what I'm eating. I'm just feeling compelled to do this and I don't know, it just feels right. Exercise, I don't know, I can see, like I feel like it's kind of getting there again now that I'm getting organized again and I'm feeling my motivation. I feel like I might start doing some yoga. I can't say, like, I don't know, like maybe that's just me, like, talking out of my ass. Um, however, I intend to do some yoga over, like, the next week. We'll see how that goes. Weight-wise, I'm not sure. Like, I ate, like, crap for the first part of starting Wednesday up until Sunday, you know, so, and now Monday and Tuesday, I've been eating well, and so maybe the three days of eating, well, two days of eating well, on top of all those binges, maybe I'll just be back where I was, or maybe I'll gain, maybe I'll have maintained, maybe I'll have lost, so, as you know, I was up two pounds last week, hopefully I'm down those two pounds, that would be great too, back down to 87.8 or 87.4, that would be nice, or even lower, um, so we'll see. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you so much for your genuine, truthful, honest support and love. And it's just great when you, like, filter out all the bullshit and all the people just there to either tell you what to do or they just really want 
support from others so they're pretending that they're supporting you it's nice to filter that out because then you really know who's there for you and you know who you're there for and everybody knows where everybody stands and it's nice so as I said uh, thank you so much for watching I appreciate you all I hope you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful evening namaste Bye.